Chapter 1470, Strange Death. From noon to midnight, from midnight to noon, the skies above God burying ridge seemed forever covered by a faint fog, without a single ray of sunlight making it through. Here, ancient dark green rocks littered the land. These stones had experienced the river of endless years, as if the landscape of God burying ridge had never changed for the last several billions of years. The group of twelve people had already penetrated 300-400 miles deep into God burying ridge. Then, something finally occurred. The slow and steady fatty Jew suddenly jumped up like a dog chasing a rabbit. His speed increased to incredible velocities and even the ground shook beneath him, causing everyone to be startled. Lin Ming reflexively jumped backwards. His right hand traced his spatial ring and the phoenix blood spear came flashing out. All this occurred in the blink of an eye. Beside Lin Ming, now Moxian wasn't any slower. Her bloodline began to roil within her and she grasped her whip, ready to transform into her phoenix true form at any time. Lin Ming's first reaction was that Fatty Zhu had encountered some sudden danger and he had decided to flee and leave them behind. However, what surprised Lin Ming was that even though all of this had occurred, the surroundings were still quiet. The wind blew at a low speed and the mountain stones remained as bleak and barren as before, as if nothing had occurred. As for that Fatty Zhu, after jumping out several hundred feet he suddenly stopped. His right hand thrust out like an arrow and there was a light slapping sound as if he had struck something. Then, Fatty Zhu bent over and picked something up. As he did, his round and tubby body seemed as if it was giving him a hard time in trying to bend over. After that, Fatty Zhu walked back, his face flushed red with health. He held a red spirit grass in his hands. As he turned his palm, this spirit grass was received into his spatial ring. Ha ha, lucky, lucky. I've actually managed to pick up a blood-dripping orchid. I can trade it for quite a bit of money or I can even refine it into a pill. It's not bad either way. This blood-dripping orchid will try to dive into the ground and escape, so if you are not fast enough it will manage to flee, Fatty Zhu casually said. But as he spoke, let alone the saint youth that had been complaining all this time, even Lin Ming wasn't feeling all too well. This fellow, could he really be relied upon? It wasn't a problem for him to pick a spirit grass. After all, in these sorts of mystic realms, whoever discovered the treasure was the one who owned it. But before this, every step Fatty Zhu took was careful and as slow as a snail. He had even said it was better to be safe than sorry, and going too fast could easily lead to death. But, when he discovered that spirit grass just now he happily leapt forwards even faster than a rabbit, crossing hundreds of feet in an instant with no problem at all. Are you fucking playing with us? The saint youth violently shouted out in anger. Fatty Zhu smirked immediately responding, if you don't believe me you can leave by yourself. No one asked you to follow me. In fact, personally I would rather a person like you leave early so you don't drag us into your vortex of bad luck. What did you say? The saint youth almost attacked, but at this time several other people persuaded him to calm down. Consider this over. Don't fight here. Now that we're halfway there, there's no way you can leave by yourself. On the contrary, it will be extremely dangerous to go anywhere alone. No matter if we are being tricked or not, it's much safer if we are all together. The one who spoke was the older brother of the dragon siblings. In order to not offend Fatty Zhu, he used the true essence sound transmission. Humphrey. The saint youth coldly snorted, suppressing his anger. Zhu Shayan, I will remember your name. Do whatever you want. There are many people that already remember my name, so who cares if you do too? Fatty Zhu hummed as he continued to lead the way. The twelve people continued to advance forwards. Fatty Zhu was still as slow as before, as if he were challenging the saint youth's bottom line. However this time, there were far fewer people complaining. Currently. Many of them were spreading out their scents, thinking to find some of the precious medicinal herbs and guide burying ridge. The blood dripping orchid that Fatty Zhu picked up just now was quite valuable. Even though these people came from decent backgrounds, they were still tempted. If they managed to pick up some heavenly materials, then that would still be a good lucky chance even if they didn't find any guide burying stones. After ten miles of walking, the saint youth's heart suddenly stirred. Not too far away, there was a spirit grass growing beneath a large boulder. This spirit grass was only three inches high and there was a pigeon egg sized fruit growing at the end. The entire fruit was blood red in color. Is that a monster blood fruit? The saint race was shocked. In the legends, when a monster beast with a royal bloodline died, such fruits would be bred from using their corpses as fertilizer. It wasn't only the saint youth that saw the monster blood fruit, but he was the fastest of those who did. He hurtled himself towards it. These several hundred feet passed instantly. Stop. Fatty Zhu's complexion rapidly changed. Don't touch that fruit. Fatty Zhu's voice and appearance were stern, but that saint youth only returned a contemptuous glance at him. Are you stupid or sleepy? Do you think I am a three-year-old child? You just want this monster blood fruit. If I believed you again then I would be the idiot. As the saint youth spoke he plucked the monster blood fruit. Lin Ming's pupils shrank as he saw this, all the muscles in his body tightening. The truth was that out of everyone here, he had been the first to discover the monster blood fruit because his divine sense was the most formidable out of everyone here. However, he didn't want a monster blood fruit so badly that he was willing to desperately rush out without regard for anything else. And more importantly, the moment he discovered the monster blood fruit, he also had a foreboding feeling pass through his heart. Now that he heard Fatty Zhu shout out to stop, Lin Ming immediately raised his guard to full alert. And standing around Lin Ming, Nao Moxian, the dragon siblings, and even that Tassern, 15-16-year-old looking black-clothed youth had also silently drawn out their weapons. The black-clothed youth's weapon looked like a saber, the blade was black and shining with a cold brilliance. 
This was because Fatty Zhu's words had placed them all on alert. They would rather believe in potential dangers than be caught unprepared. However, that saint youth didn't seem to encounter any dangers. As he grasped the spirit grass he loudly laughed, Ha ha. This fruit is worth over a hundred million and it often can't be found in any city. I just happened to be close to breaking through to the middle divine lord realm. Once I refined this fruit into a pill it will greatly enhance my blood vitality. Awesome. Even if I don't obtain any god-bearing stones during this trip into god-bearing ridge I've more than recouped my losses. I've fucking had enough with this swindler tricking us all this way. I'm sick of his shit. As the saint youth was speaking, Lin Ming felt a chilling air crawl up from beneath his feet and shoot straight up his back. He saw an extremely strange and horrifying scene occur. The monster blood fruit that the saint youth was holding in his hand suddenly stretched out a root hair to grip the saint youth's arm. Then, it began to want and absorb the blood essence in the saint youth's muscles. The saint youth's arm began to wither away at a visible speed, but the saint youth himself didn't seem to sense anything wrong. He still remained ecstatic from his find and glaring at Fatty Zhu in triumph and disdain. Then again, I should also thank a useless swindler like you. Without you leading the way I would not have picked this monster blood fruit, ha ha ha. At this moment, the saint youth's self-pleased laughter was already standing in sharp contrast with the left half of his body that was completely decayed. This strange scene left a nearly unforgettable impression. There is no need to think about it. He is already dead. Fatty Zhu's complexion was pale. There was no one else in the group that was gloating over the saint youth's misfortune either. Instead, it left them increasingly fearful of how dangerous this trip was. According to normal trends, they shouldn't have encountered such a strange existence at this distance. Did someone die? Why do you all have such expressions? The saint youth shouted out, panic beginning to rise in his voice as he saw the pity and panic in everyone's expressions as well as their guarded stances. A feeling of intense restlessness surged in his heart. What is going on? What are you looking at? A foreboding feeling appeared in his mind. Then, he turned his head to look at the left half of his body and saw the most terrifying scene of his life as well as the last scene of his life. His left half had completely run away, and things that looked like red round worms were wriggling around in his flesh. This incomparably disgusting and horrifying scene caused him to cry out at the top of his lungs. However, just as his cry started, a cold light shimmered through the air and pierced through his throat. Ka! With a light sound, blood splashed in the air. The saint youth's throat was stabbed through and his voice was immediately cut off. Lin Ming's eyes widened. The one who attacked was Fatty Zhu. He could not be allowed to scream. It would lure other things here. We must leave here immediately or the thing will attack us too. As Fatty Zhu spoke, he launched his movement technique and rushed deeper into God-Burying Ridge. Lin Ming followed behind. The scene that just happened was shocking to the mind. This God-Burying Ridge had strange things everywhere. The group of eleven people rushed forwards a dozen plus miles in a single go before stopping down. All of their complexions looked unwell as if they mourned over the loss of someone in their group. The tragic death of the saint youth just now had caused them to shake with fear. Even the normally flippant and happy Jamoxian had an unnatural expression. Just what was that? It was disgusting, I think. We should turn back. The one who spoke was Monster Prince Juayu. Without a doubt, the one who had been impacted the most just now was him. He had secretly estimated the strength of that saint race youth who had just died. His final estimation was that he wasn't much stronger than that saint youth. If he were to have fought that saint youth, although he could have won, it would have been a difficult victory. If that saint youth had died so miserably, then if they had exchanged positions, he would have suffered the same fate. If you want to return then return yourself. We have no plans of doing so. The one who spoke was the young girl that carried Javelins, the young sister of the dragon siblings. As she looked at Monster Prince Juayu, her eyes were filled with disdain. This disdainful gaze left Monster Prince Juayu infuriated. He regret his impulsive action that had led to him following Lin Ming and Hamoxian into the stand danger zone. Fuck, I hate meeting those brash idiots that think they are some big tiger. He died and nearly dragged us down with him. Fatty Zhu foully cursed. Luckily, we didn't encounter any dangers when we left nor did we deviate from the road I am familiar with. Fatty Zhu looked all around. After determining their approximate position, he finally let out a sigh of relief. What killed him? Lin Ming suddenly asked. 